Today I'm going to teach you how to mold and duplicate your creative scrapbooking embellishments. So here I have a piece of Sculpey clay rolled out and I'm using a metal pick to create my shape. This shape is a cloud that I'm going to put letters on to spell out Baby John. Baby John's picture will be included in the scrapbook. The roller is used to make a nice smooth indent into your clay. Here I'm using a metal pick just to give it a little more artistic look. And there it is, the final product. Now here is the famous baby John uh, making a picture frame to put his picture in. So I'll have his picture in the scrapbook and then I'll put the frame, glue the frame over it. Here I'm making a few more things to add to the scrapbook. They are going to be uh, just little items that have Baby John's initials on them. Now that I have everything created, I can start making my mold. Bubble Buster is used to reduce surface tension, which allows bubbles to rise instead of sticking to your parts. This results in a cleaner mold. I'm using a pretty heavy coat of Bubble Buster, just trying to make sure I hit every little spot so bubbles don't stick. Now I have my power mold pre-melted, and I'm just going to pour it in one spot and allow it to rise over all the parts. And here is my other mold, doing the same thing. After about 30 minutes in the freezer, I was able to remove the mold from the mold box. Now that the molds are all ready to go, I can start pushing in my paper clay. The paper clay that I use is called Delight Paper Clay. I used an exacto knife to trim around the corners. This just made it look better and I could have pushed in less clay so I didn't have all the extra but I wanted it to be a little bit thicker than my mold. Now that I have my molds I can create as many as I want. And here they are after they've been painted. Now it's time to start figuring out where you want everything to go. Here's just a couple of my arrangement ideas and I'll see what happens when I'm done. Thank you for watching, and for more information and ordering instructions, please visit www.compositemold.com. Thank you.